A's fans making their message clear at tonight's game. That's right. Fans uh, organized this reverse boycott to really show their dedication to the A's staying in Oakland. This says the team still works to move to Vegas. KTV's Joe Fonzie was at the ballpark today where the Coliseum saw its biggest crowd so far this season. The party started in the parking lot behind center field well before first pitch. The biggest crowd of the season turned out on a Tuesday night. The giveaway had something to do with it, free t-shirts, but not provided by the A's. The one word message was clear, directed toward owner John Fisher. Stop your Las Vegas romance and sell to an owner that will keep the team in Oakland. We want to make a point that, hey, if you are committed to Oakland and keeping a team here and committed to investing in your roster, we'll be here. And this is just the product of what, you, what, what can happen if you literally care about your city, your team, and your fans. Baseball is a generational sport. And the A's fan base, like all teams, is full of people who have made going to their games part of a family tradition. My grandson's been here even before, in the womb. We, I was bringing my daughter here with him when he was in the womb. <laughs> We've been coming ever since he was born. All he knows is A's, you know, and this is all, we're here to support them. I think our goal is just to be seen and heard. I mean, I don't know if this is gonna make a difference, but we love the A's and that, you know, we're here to support them. From the chants, to the signs, to the return of the drummers, the symbolism was strong. A's fans were showing what they once were and feel they still can be. There was no shortage of A's jerseys being worn by the Oakland faithful. Trouble is, none of those players wears an A's uniform anymore. He's been a fan since he was born. When they traded Donaldson, he was crushed. We're gonna keep fighting every day and just hope to build more memories just like our parents brought us to the game, be able to take our kids, our grandkids to the game. We're just, you know, fighting to keep Oakland baseball alive. A's fans will acknowledge this was an 11th hour, even desperation effort. But if the goal was to send a message to team ownership, they certainly did that. In Oakland, Joe Fonzie, KTVU, Fox 2.